Hi. 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 What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I am Mado, and this is Heartstopper Season Three Binge Watch. I think I'm gonna do half of the season today and half of it another day. But yeah, this is gonna be in one video on YouTube. It's gonna be a binge watch. So if you want the full, long, juicy reactions, are on Patreon, and they do include the episodes of my reaction. And let's go right into it. I mean, I don't know what to expect other than from what I've seen from the trailer that it's gonna be more serious and I just can't wait to see them. I miss Kit Connor. <laughs> it is kind of the main reason I watch Heartstopper, but it also because Heartstopper has a lot of likable characters that are emotionally vulnerable and open and I like to see that because in real life people don't act that way and I wish they did. And they, these are young kids and they communicate like that. I wish people do that even when they are older they don't so anyways let's go right into it let's go to episode one oh, nick i have something to tell you i love you oh that's his sister i don't know why i didn't recognize her <laughs> stop spying on me stop declaring your love so loudly then <sighs> i'm shocked you haven't said it already he didn't say it Wow. We've been together with him. I say it to my friends. Oh. Hi. Hi. What are you wearing, buff boy? I what? You. <laughs> I... Oh, kill me already. Just kill me already. Love. Not pizza. I'm gonna cook us a candlelit dinner. And I'm almost walked in on us again, so you owe me. <laughs> living with you is like a dream. Oh. She's living at her place. Hello, guys. Of course, he's with his books. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. Charlie, you know my back, please? Oh. Yeah, sure. His half smile. I hate the show. I hate the show. <laughs> Thank you. No. That's in your head, that's in your head, that's in your head. I like the other thing, it's still the same. Ow. See, I got one too, so we're matching that. You for L. This is the sappiest thing you've ever okay, done. Okay, your turn. What do you mean, sappy? That's very cute. A flower! <laughs> you got me flowers when you first asked me out, so... Oh. We're so ridiculous. I love it! <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Let's go. This show... You know, try remind, try it keeps reminding you that you're single with no love story happening in your life, and it's so wholesome. Girls, <laughs> girls stick together. I don't care. I hate gender. It looks great, bro. I need to cut. I need to start cutting. F winter arc. I don't want to bulk. I don't really get the appeal. Oh. Never seen someone really attractive and just felt like. Do you think you're asexual then? All right. Uh, probably a romantic too. That's all right. You can Google it later. <laughs> That's fine. I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> and if you can say that to me, you can definitely say it to Nick. That is totally different, you know. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be that different. I mean, I know it's it has more value with Nick, but come on, <laughs> Charlie, come on. Enjoy this day. Let it happen when it happens, you know? Why are they sitting far away? Come sit next to me, boy. Hello. Okay, if he came up to me like this, I would be pregnant with twins. Oh, it's how you're probably not gonna see her for five whole minutes. Oh, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> the honeymoon period won't last forever. It, it might. Charlie, I hope you're not also having a summer. What are you thinking? That, 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 that this spark is gonna lash out. I mean, maybe it will a little bit, but it's fine. She might be moving out soon, though. Oh. She's not that I want Darcy to move out or anything. It's just been a bit. It's okay if it's a lot. When someone you love's in trouble, you do anything to help him. True. 
Very true. I guess I've just been distracted by... By what? Anorexia nervosa. That's, um... Yeah, that's Charlie's condition. Charlie, come swim with us! <laughs> Stop being so cute, Nick. I really don't want to take my shirt off. Oh. Okay, I assume that that was the issue. We're drying the sun. Oh. Let's go. Ugh, every time I start this show, it just takes me to this whole another world. I... I'll talk about it later. Ah! I need to talk to you about something. Oh. Yeah, I do too. No, he's gonna talk about something else though. He looks so good. I think you have an eating disorder. Yeah. I've been doing some research, and um, I know you don't want me to try and fix you or anything. Aww. He wasn't even thinking about that now. You don't need to worry about me. What? Are you angry at me? No. Is that what you wanted to talk about as well? No. Yeah. No. You know what? I hate you guys. I guess bringing up his insecurity like that is a bit rough for him. I want to hold them like that. <laughs> let me shut up. <laughs> can you let me sort out our romantic candlelit dinner? I can sort it. It's fine. It's Al, always... let me treat you this time. Oh. I love everyone in the show, bro. Just, they're so kind to each other. Is he going to say it? While he's showering? Nick? My mom said I have to go home. I was actually going to say that... Come on. I love you. What? Bro, what? He didn't say it looking in his face. I can't- I don't like that. I- I can walk myself home. Bye. Run! Wait, wait. <laughs> he can- he can catch up with them, come on. No, you're not an idiot. Let's go, it happened, it's gonna be wholesome. Ah, barefoot! Charlie! <laughs> this is dramatic. Say what you said again, please. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I love you. They back for a bitch up. I wanted to tell you because you're going away and I won't see you for a few weeks. Yeah, I love you too. Let's go. I love you so much. <gasps> oh, and, and he added to it. Come here, you idiot. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Why are we like this? <laughs> Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why am I? How could the actors act like this and not actually fall in love with each other? Because I would just, you know, I would fall in love. <laughs> oh, look at that. I saw you peeping at me on the beach. I was not <laughs> peeping. So I'm in love that you're going to walk to my house with no shoes on. I think you'd do the same for me. Yeah, I would. Lay it on the car. Beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. Great start of the episode. I love it a lot. Great start of the season. I mean, I like it. It's just, you know, guess what I wanted to say is when you, I start the show, it just brings me out or takes me out from what I'm living through and just puts me in their world and it gives me peace and hope. And I love that so much. That's why I love the show a lot. Like every time I start the, a season, that's how I feel. So thank you for for this great start and let's continue, okay? Hey, it's my favorite nephew! Don't tell David. Hey, Uncle <laughs> Uncle Rick! Oh, yeah. oh, family. Hmm. Where is his mom? I wanna see her. Look at his phone cover. I don't think so feel realize what did you eat today? Home. Did you do it? <laughs> yes. Do what? Yeah. Told you. Shut up. Best sister ever. He, 
he said he was worried that. <laughs> Look at that photo. We need to have a talk about Nick anyway. You shouldn't be staying late around his house. You're too young to be having sex. What? Oh. <laughs> I was just talking to my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? How about once I've unpacked, you give me the full story over a glass of red and some breadsticks? <laughs> Sounds good. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> He's like, hmm. Unexpected a little bit. <laughs> Hi. These two... Did we not see each other during the holiday? Oh, who's pulling up in this car? <laughs> oh, you? Look at that, what is that car? How did y'all fit in this? <laughs> I left school at 14, look at me now. Found a brilliant rug at the boot fair. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, she's a cool granny. She's a cool granny. Yes! Oh my god, I got 80 drama! <laughs> Ooh, nine, nine, eight. Nine, 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 nine. Exams mean nothing. <laughs> That's how I felt, to be honest. You did amazing. Charlie just texted. I passed all my GCSEs. Hey, Let's go. That's yes. fantastic. If he survives one of our hikes in 35 degrees, then he'll pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Come on now. They're rich and nice. That's That's good. <laughs> Okay, he's he's imagining it right now. <laughs> we gotta help him with his condition. I mean, so far it hasn't caused him any actual medical issues, so right. But I think mentally it it is an issue. Hey, hey! I need that photo. Send it to me. I thought we were all going to Nando's to celebrate results. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's sad. Everyone got someone but but him. Just take one. <laughs> I mean, I would be insecure too if, you know? Let me shut up. I'm just crying throughout this whole reaction. I'm glazing it kind of... But I was saying <laughs> that I would be insecure too. He's been taking me out on a date. Like, every day. He's trying really hard and I'm not sure why. He's scared of losing you, that's why. That's how I feel with everyone. <laughs> he does have kind of low self-esteem, doesn't he? Oh, that's what it means? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried. I don't know. I love you. I can feel that something's wrong. I love her. My mum found us when she was clearing out the loft. It was my dad's. He'd always be taking photos of me. I, I'd hate it. I wish I'd sat still. I wish I'd posed. Don't regret. If you're regretting, don't regret. <laughs> if you're sad, don't be sad. I'm such a good advisor. <laughs> Look at that. Oh no. When's Charlie getting here? One of your friends is here. We've barely done anything together all summer and um and I'm just feeling a little bit left out, to be honest. Wow. I really like this because it's like a friendship issue rather than a relation romantic relationship issue. You can talk to him. I I'm just missing Nick a lot and my mum's been really annoying and you can at least reply to my text though. I will. Sorry. Yeah, why wouldn't you reply? Can you go and get your brother? Why do I have to get him? There's more chance he'll come down if you ask. Really? Well, how about you try, mother? Charlie, can you come and help me lay the table, please? He's gonna open up his laptop. I hate when people don't talk about what they're going through. I mean, I know it's not easy, but... It's crazy that his sister didn't notice that while she really cares about him. Because... If my sibling isn't eating right, then I would clearly notice, even though we're not that close, to be honest. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not leaving? But it still feels like you might <laughs> move on. That's called abandonment issues, and I have them, so I relate to him. 
you've lost someone in the past and you're scared of it happening again. I love you. Really? What do you mean? <laughs> I love you so much. I just thought it was too soon to say it. Oh, they they said that for the first time now. <laughs> when is my turn, guys? Someone let me know. Get more often. Like no one notices he's not eating. Here you go. Can you hear me? Okay. No, I can hear you. Are you okay? I was just wondering if you've been eating. Okay. Char, are you still there? Mhm. Mm He's holding it in. Here you go, come on. I think I do have an eating disorder. Here you go. I don't know what to do. What are you doing? Nothing. You can clearly see his eyes. Charlie, you can't keep skipping dinner. You have to eat. I don't feel well. Come on, come downstairs. I'll get you some paracetamol. Not paracetamol. Ugh. <sighs> This is actually a serious topic, like how would you help someone with an eating disorder, that's not... I had a friend like that, she's doing better now, but... Like what can you do exactly, you know? Charlie has an eating disorder. Oh. If I don't do anything... I'll just... I really love him. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know how to fix him. Oh, I want to fix him. <laughs> right. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist. You could support him throughout all of this, but yeah. Love can't cure a mental illness. Well. <laughs> that sometimes people need more support than one person can give. That's love, darling. His face, I can't handle him crying. Oh wow, that was quick. This episode's very sad. I mean, it really focused on Charlie and his eating disorder. And I like that because it is more of a serious issue that we're handling right now. And it's it's not easy for for Nick or for Charlie or for his sister or for his family. I mean, I hate that Charlie's environment isn't that supportive, but Nick is very supportive of him. But I hate that his parents aren't that uh, because I also you know what I keep relating to the bad stuff in the show and I hate that. <laughs> I should I should this I should relate to the positive stuff, but I mean that's just reality. Okay, I relate to Charlie's parents like that's how my parents are. They I mean, they do support, but it's not easy to tell them if you are dealing with something, you know, it's not easy to talk about it, so, yeah. Um, okay, I mean, good so far, very beautiful acting, and I just love Nick so much again. <laughs> Let's continue. Three weeks has felt like a year. <laughs> Bye, Nelly. Hello. I mean, seeing each other all summer, so... Oh, we've been oh, seeing yeah. each other. I hate that they're 16 in this, because I don't see them as 16 year olds. And I'm like thirsting over Kit Connor. He's not 16 in this, okay, so... No kiss, hug first. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let's go. It's your birthday on Saturday? <gasps> no yeah. way. Well, Charlie, surprise him with something. Char, uh, um, about our phone call. I just... I don't want to think about it today. Bro, what kind of extreme level is he at? Because he just never eats. How is he still okay? How is he not dizzy or has, like, low blood pressure and stuff like that? Was I asleep? Then I'm just got no energy. Oh, okay. He got no energy. That's that's a sign. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Wish I had a boyfriend. James, no. I need <laughs> at least one single friend, okay? <laughs> 
real, very real. So you're like a romantic? What yeah, do you know exactly. what that is? Uh, yeah. You like that. It's nice when you see people educated about your personality or anything like that. Happy birthday! Thank ah, you. Okay, I'm today. Sure I'm sure. I'll be two minutes. I like a shirt. Oh, um. Hey, Tori. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Can't tell me anything. Nope. Are we at least almost there? Oh, let me see. Is it a zoo? Ta da! Ah, that's so cute. Happy Nicholas. Nicholas. Oh no, it looks like you're stuck with me again. Why do you have to be so bitter about me and our dating? I'm not bitter. You've just not been a very good friend lately, Tao. All you care about is your relationship. Oh, oh, this is so bad. I don't like any of this. And we, he's talking about it now. It's 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 Nick's birthday. We can't have negative energy right now. I'm not, you know, I'm not ignoring what he's feeling, but not now. Look at him. <laughs> Bro, he's not eating anything. How is he surviving? Go on, you want one with ketchup on it? Yes, you do. Any guy? No one's noticing Charlie's not eating. Like, I'm sorry, but these friends are kind of. Disappointing me right now because me and my friends are not like that. I mean, they are younger. He wouldn't even think he would like, he's like not eating and has an issue. But I don't know. You would notice he's not eating. I know you love Isaac and Charlie just as much as me, Tao. You just don't want to kiss them. <laughs> friends are important. You know this. You got angry oh. at Charlie for doing the exact same thing we've been doing. Wow, that's very true. Very true. Put him in perspective. Come on now. How do fish live on trees? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Do you think there are any gay fish? <laughs> <laughs> do you think they fall in love? What about the ones <laughs> who don't fall in love with any gender? I don't think we're talking about fish anymore. <laughs> when I first realized I liked Charlie, I cried at an Am I Gay quiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. It's a process. It is. We love you. We haven't been to the bug house yet and I want to see some spiders. That's beautiful. I like that. Is Charlie okay? You okay? I feel really tired. You know something. And you're not telling me. You guys are too focused on the relationships rather than the friendship. And that's actually bad. He's been acting so Cal, you cannot talk to him about but it. But why? Because he can barely talk to me about it. That's like I'm, I'm closer to him than you are. And uh, yeah, but so I hate it. <laughs> What's this? Well, Thank you, gift, for the best birthday ever. Oh. <laughs> He reminded me of you. You are so cringe. <laughs> Should we call it a day? I think Charlie is very tired. Well, they oh. don't smell like you anymore, so... <laughs> they don't smell like me? Uh. You're saying you like my smell? Make it weird. What about my smile? Nick, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Memories? Like photos of. <gasps> you gave me a photo of us in the snow. There's one of us in the sun. This is a safe place, right? This is so difficult. You know, I love you. I really want you to talk to someone, a doctor or something like that. Very heartwarming. I'm sorry. Let it out already. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I just don't feel like I could ever get me back. A 
helps to write things down. Might sound silly, but maybe that can help me talk to them. I want to try that, all right? But I'm feeling down. Put stuff in perspective, really, and what you care about and what you don't care about and what you're feeling and all of that. I want to I wanna try writing. Is it a bit late for Nick to be over? Shut up. He's not staying long. <laughs> His support system next to him. Oh, this is so beautiful, but... My mental health has been really bad lately. I've been finding eating really difficult. I feel like there's a voice in my head that's not me. And that voice has been getting louder and louder. I think I've been like this for quite a long time. But I don't want to admit it. And now it's gone way worse. Just listening as well. I was thinking maybe I could go to the doctors about it. <laughs> I want to get better. That's cool, that's the... That's the first step, Charlie, come on. When I was 19, I wanted to die, okay. Well, in the ending, it looks like the whole editing is dark. Um, okay. That was beautiful. That was very sad and beautiful. I'm glad he did that. I'm so glad he did that. The fact that, you know what, if I was his sister, if I were Charlie's sister and I saw our brother, <laughs> if I were her, his sister right here in the show, and I saw that Nick came in with him, and then Charlie said that, that means Nick made him do this step, and I would just love Nick so much, and I would want my brother to stay with Nick, you know? Because that's just such a beautiful, powerful thing that we helped him to do. I love it a lot. I'm so, so grateful for this. <laughs> um, yeah, and also a lot of the, a lot of stuff in this show are so relatable that I just can't keep talking about them because it will get repetitive, bruh. But a lot of stuff are so re relatable. Isaac, what he's feeling, I really, I'm, I'm really glad we are shining onto that and. His issues are very relatable as well. Um, you know, being around couples that are just, you know, they just care about the relationship and they weren't like that before. So it is kind of a big change now. Everyone is in love and, you know, have another romantic partner with them. And, but him, he's just alone there and you just, you can't just forget about him. He's your friend and, you know, and everyone else, to, to be honest, not just Isaac, everyone else with each other isn't really focusing on each other and not caring for each other like yeah. everyone is just focused on their romantic partner rather than other friends in our friend group and i really don't like that but i think we're gonna fix that in this season we're gonna fix it and uh, but i do really like that we're having this issue because it is an issue that not a lot of uh, movies or shows talk about and i think it's very nice to see it and to shed a light on it because when people you know what some people when they are in love or you know they're they they are a couple now they just really forget or not forget they just really underestimate or how, how can i word this they really remove or just forget the value of what they had with their friends or stuff like that they really just I don't know, it, it really annoys me, but yeah, that's how it is. I mean, I've never been in a relationship before, so I don't know how would I act if I were if I was in. I hope not like that, but we'll see, I guess, and then I'll talk to you about it, guys. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to continue the rest in another day because I'm a bit tired now. And yeah. Hi, I'm back. It's the same day, but at night, and I'm continuing the show. Let's continue with you guys. I got nothing else to say. <laughs> Let's just go. It's a long drive and Charlie wants to get home and unpacked and stuff. I can't believe it's been two months. Yeah, same. What? Oh, Charlie went to a... Like a rehab center or something? You know that saying, things get worse before they get better? I think I understand that now. <laughs> Journal. Here we go. He said he hates going to the doctors. I mean, who enjoys going to the doctors? Yeah. Why is he narrating? It's scaring me. <laughs> Things started to get really bad after that. 
His eating disorder got worse. Can you just stop trying? And then he stopped talking to me about it. Dennis. That's so sad. Look at all the texts and he's not even reading them. You know, he told me he used to self-harm. It's okay. I hate feeling like this. I read up about it online as well. It said you had to make them feel cared for and not judge them. I guess I tried. You did try. This is so sad. This is very heavy. Ah, Mario Kart. He's worried about that. I cut off my whole hair. Look at me now. <laughs> that said, I had to my decision. Do you think it help? This is heavy. What is happening to him? This is very extreme. Hey. This song is beautiful. Don't cry. If you cry, I'll cry. If you guys cry, I'll cry. I'm not sure I can help it. Oh my god, this song is very depressing. <laughs> end it, end it, end it. Do you think he's okay? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll make huh? a book list for him. Oh, what about movies? Does he have access to a Blu-ray player at all? <laughs> oh! <laughs> let's go! You are my Captain America. Nick, let's go. He looks good. <laughs> Look at him. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Even black and red, but I'm so blue. Donnie Darko. What do you have to say to your boyfriend, Charlie Spring? <laughs> Y'all are heading Billy Eilish to Heartstopper. They want to kill me. <laughs> God damn. They're eating each other, bro. Well, Nick isn't having a good time, I feel like. Just enjoy your time, Nick. That's a lot. Mind if I join? <laughs> Oh, Nick, stop. <laughs> At the start of November, Charlie phoned me from the clinic for the first time. Okay. So I have anorexia and OCD. Oh. He's been diagnosed. What? Nothing. Still not sure if Tori likes me. She does, for sure. She's just weird. <laughs> Nick, you are amazing and beautiful and heartwarming and everything. I can't handle this episode. It's just literally Nick on the screen all the time. <gasps> He's right there. I've been trying to tell you. This is so cute. I think it helped. I really do. His smile is just, you guys, am I okay? I can't handle them. <laughs> he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. Remember. Did you say that you're thinking about food almost all of the time? Yes, that's a yes. I say that was accurate, wasn't it, Charlie? <laughs> Aw, look at his mom. Let's go. I should count myself lucky that my parents could even afford it. Right. And that I went to one that actually managed to help me. Let's go. Oh, that photo! I posted that photo on my story on Instagram. <laughs> and it's also where I met Jeff. Hi. I'm gonna be your therapist while you're here. Wow, I like that this song resembles what's happening. 
If your eating disorder is connected to obsessions and compulsion, eating the right thing at the right time and in the right circumstances. The actual eating disorder treatment stuff was not very fun. Come on, do it, Charlie, do it. I like that he got that koala sleeping with him. Nick really wants to talk to you. He's my favorite. <laughs> Your friends are quite annoying, but I like him. Let's go. Cool. Could you look up Tao's number? I've been making a present. You don't have to do that. Shut up. Yes, I do. <laughs> I really like Tao. I really do. In this season. And I had no idea. I was good at hiding it. But I missed it. He feels, he feels guilty. Tao, I love you. Here we go. I like that we saw both perspectives. I love this episode. Hi, my name is Tao Su. This is my short film about the everyday lives of my friends group. <laughs> I read the Song of Achilles, like you suggested, and I wasn't prepared and I cried for about four hours. Oh no. <laughs> I hope that when you get back, you don't feel like you have to lie to us anymore. Yes. You don't. We're never going to judge you. Yes, that's what I keep trying to tell people. <laughs> Give me that. I don't know if you have a phone in there, Charlie. But oh. I think he'd like to hear your voice. <laughs> I know this looks like a painting oh, for you. That's so cool. She's such a vibe. I, I really like her. I like everyone. Okay. Nicholas Nelson. Oh. What do you have to say to your boyfriend Charlie Spring? I love you. Look at him. <laughs> Little baby. Maybe I won't ever get back to normal. Whatever that is. But I think that's okay though. Whatever that is. <laughs> because not everyone's normal is not the normal, if that makes sense. Um, dinner at seven? Yeah. Do I have time to go and say hi to Nick? <laughs> go on then. <sighs> I'm just like, I'm, uh, all I do is smile while watching this. There it is. I like the editing in this episode, it's different. Look at that. Wow, I feel someone's struggling with me so much. There was a whole different vibe in this episode. I really like it. I love the effort. I love that they really, you know, just, it's so different the way it's edited and how they show that stuff and how they revealed stuff and how it's like not uh, linear, if that makes sense. Yeah, all of it was very nice to see. I, I love it a lot and it's really sad what he's going through, but I'm glad he did it. It was the right choice, but also Nick having to deal with him just being alone there without Charlie, it was just so heartbreaking to see because he didn't even, he wasn't even talking to him, so he could just, his mind would be like imagining what, what is Charlie going through? He's gonna have all these questions like, what is Charlie going through? What is happening? Uh, when is he gonna come back? Is he okay? Is he, you know? And he got so overwhelmed that he started crying with the Tao when Tao held, uh, when Tao held him. Uh, that was a very beautiful scene and his acting is just top notch like he just everything feels authentic okay and i appreciate that and yeah great episode different than the previous ones or any other hot supper episode and i like that i really do i'm happy let's continue guys episode five i only slept for like two hours oh, wow. Same. Thinking about what presents I'm gonna get. I hope I get a soul. <laughs> I hope I get grandparents who don't come in my way. Real. I hope Dad remembers to properly season the turkey. I like this. We both feel like shit in the bed. That's that's a loving sibling right there. Merry Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas. Okay. Winter. Nah, look at look at Nick. Okay. 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 They want me to just keep falling in love with the show. Pugs are my favorite dog breed ever. <clears throat> Hold on. 
and Nick holding a pug right here. Yes, I am dead. I'm officially, you know, bring the coffin. Bring the coffin, everyone, please, because it's not me talking, it's my ghost now. When I stood up, I died, and now when I came back, I'm, I'm a ghost. Let me shut up. But yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I think Beautiful. you and Nelly are gonna be best friends. <gasps> Is it actually yeah. your dog now? Henry says hi. Say hi, Henry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Henry, I don't care about Nick or Charlie anymore. I just want Henry. You're sure looking a bit skinny, aren't you? No, Victoria. Why did you cut all your hair off? <laughs> I love old people. Roast everyone, please. You need to tell us about your boyfriend. What's his name? Oh. Nick. <laughs> Charlie, when did you realize you were gay? <laughs> this is also very realistic because that's what happens when I meet relatives I'm not close to. And they'd be starting asking these questions. And I'm like... You know dad's not coming. Ever since your boyfriend became mentally deranged, you've been acting like you're the savior of the earth. What? Don't say that about Charlie. I mean, I get it. You have to be the hero who saves the day. Can you just shut the f up? Thank you. What is your mom? Is it, I think the actress couldn't act in the season. That sucks. Oh. Is she insecure about her body because she's trans? Okay. Did you meet anyone like really crazy in there? Happy that Charlie's back to normal and back with us. Back to normal. I would even, I would even want my relatives to know. Go to Nick's. No. Oh. Can't you at least spend Christmas with me? Oh. You spend all your time with Nick anyway. Because he treats me as something other than mentally ill. I do too. Yeah, she does. Sorry. But I'll see you later. Oh. <laughs> he said anyway. <laughs> he said anyway, let me go. What? That's so sad. Hey. Hey. I cut out the bruises. They're so attached to each other, like it's just magical. It's unbelievable. I take it this is the boyfriend then. Oh. <laughs> we don't bite, promise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. It's so nice when your friend's family is just so nice and you're like, they're better than my own family. <laughs> Can you turn around when I change? Oh, all done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, stop hugging at this point. I don't want to see y'all hug anymore. Aww. <gasps> oh, look, he's eating easily with him. Henry! <laughs> I want the pug so bad. Your dad is family. Where is he? I think family are the people who actually give a sh. Right. Oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> Look at her in all black. You left me to fend for myself Henry. against our cousins. Henry. I love you so much, Henry. I get that you're scared of being a burden. We just want to be there for you. The two, the two best people in his life next to him right now. When you put your hand there, all my dysphoria just hit me. I love everything about you. I still want to be with you. That was very understandable and and it makes sense. Stop hugging. New Year's? Come on, buddy. Hey. Hey. Look at that. That is my dream right there. <laughs> Him opening up the door. For me, with a pug in his hands. So my art keeps going like viral, and I get away from any followers. You are so amazing. <laughs> so this is about my pronouns, but I just want to see how I, how I feel for a bit. I don't need to rush to come out as anything. She's uh, going through a transformation, Darcy. Charlie, how come she rushed school for so long? Sorry, mate. We were actually just gonna go and head outside, but see you later. Oh. I mean, you gotta make up some kind of excuse or something, right? Because everyone's gonna ask... Hey... She just gives off that successful 
peaceful energy successful and peaceful <laughs> No, don't do that. <laughs> One day you're gonna make friends with someone you actually enjoy being around. Yes, hopefully. The only person I care about is you. She's actually me. She's actually making me sad about it. But he don't see me as an equal. Oh. <laughs> no way. Not this look. Oh. Um. oh my days This is odd, but sure <laughs> It's happening? Come on now Where are you? I want that guy to talk to her What? That was a great episode as well we went through Christmas and, and New Year's and they're both like sad but also okay. I mean, this just, I keep saying it, it's just realistic to me. For some reason, this season is way more realistic than the others, especially how everyone is just like not fully happy and it's like Christmas isn't that crazy happy, you know, time of the year and even though New Year's was better though. Um, but yeah, it just all feels realistic and they're not there are of course some scenes that are dramatic okay i get it <laughs> and so overwhelming but they so, most scenes now are just realistic to be honest especially because there's more sadness in the season and it makes sense mm -hmm. because they are growing up and when you grow up you know more sadness comes your way i can't lie so yeah and what i was gonna say about her sister it's just like she just want she she doesn't usually talk that much about how she's feeling but now she's like, I just care about you. You're the only person I care about. I'm here for you. She keeps saying this stuff. It's like she wants him to to see that she is there with him and that and that also she needs him as well in her life because she really got no one. She doesn't get along with her friends and she doesn't um, have any romantic partner. So for her, her brother is really like her her life right now and I really love that because I and it made me sad because I think Charlie should appreciate his sister more, I can't lie I think he should appreciate her more and yeah, she should he should give her more time from whatever, uh, from his life, from his day you know, uh, he should spend more time with her because yeah, because she's so nice But I, but again, I do feel like she will find someone just like she stared at that guy in the party i hope he's gonna come back and talk to her hopefully and yeah she won't be that attached to her brother but she would still care about him a lot so that's how it is to be honest that's how life is like when you are just used to one person even though it's not like sexual or anything uh you really attach yourself to that person for every i can't word this right hold on when you are used to living your day or just caring about one person, even not a sexual thing, you know, a sibling, a friend, anything, you just really attach your life to that person and really dedicate your energy and your kindness to that person because you, have, you got no one else. And that's what she's going through. But again, when someone else comes, this doesn't continue to happen it would be less and it would uh, be like split now between that guy and the new guy stuff like that that person and a new person which i kind of i kind of like i really like that they gave us this perspective from his sister which yeah i love anyway let's continue let me shut up and let's continue <laughs> you settle back in a school in January. I'm here if you want any extra support, okay? Whatever you need. Alright, Charlie. Don't push yourself too hard. Wow, everyone. Everyone around him is so kind. Bro, my life would be peaceful if, that, if I had that. <laughs> he just eat half. I said I can't. You're making me feel like sh. Oh. You said that and make me feel insane. Just <gasps> this really happened? Sorry. 
I really don't want to be defined by the fact that I was bullied at 14 and then had one toxic ex-boyfriend. Well, trauma doesn't define you, but it also doesn't vanish in five minutes, so... True. So give yourself some grace. Yeah. I love that he's having these therapy sessions because he's like a grown-up, giving him a better grown perspective and and it's so important body we've had contact from a local radio station about you they want to interview you wow he's drumming drumming <laughs> he's playing the drums let's go it's been a while happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about having sex. Yeah, I know. Oh my I, I know, and I know it's obvious that we both want to. When me and Al started having sex. Oh, here we go. It was go. in the spur of the moment. Passion in the light of the New Year's fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Tao. Tao is a changed man now. Come on, that's a huge step right here. Embrace it. We all hate parts of our bodies, like, that's very normal. But he hates his whole body. That's big. Happy birthday, dear Charlie! Hey. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> Hello! Oh my days. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Hi, Michael. Did he stop? Day? Uh, kind of the same feeling either way. Beautiful chaos. Oh, he sounds just like a sister. That's perfect. Zones. Uh, okay, well, um, <laughs> bye everyone. Have a fun time. Let's go. I love that. Let's go. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. I like us better as friends. Mm. Oh, really? No way. I mean, I know friends that uh, kissed and they just stayed friends. So. <laughs> Not me. Y'all are twerking to this? <laughs> Try and get in somewhere local so I can stay here. We'll just stay close to Charlie. Guys, can we not talk about uni stuff right now? Please. Yeah, that is very stressful. I feel you, Tara. She doesn't she doesn't know what she wants. It's a lot of pressure because she's she has good grades. I feel her. Not that I had <laughs> this experience, but I understand her. I think you're having a panic attack. My therapist gave me some exercises to help clear my brain. Aw, oh, he's helping his friend now. Using the same techniques. And breathe out. Wow. That's Nick. amazing. <laughs> I'm so drunk right now. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even me. We could do things. Oh, oh. Naughty Charlie. Charlie, naughty boy. Sex. <laughs> oh, I just said it. What? How are you feeling yeah, so about it, Nick? Oh, I can't watch it. They're gonna show us. Morning, campers. You can Mom do that. Be back in half an hour. I really like this idea for his birthday. It's like a camping thing. Now, Argent for her big first interview. And if you're lost for words, you can just talk about what great parents we are. Oh, I think this is the first time we've seen our parents. I'm allowed to have a crush on a celebrity. I can't believe I'm about to be replaced. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's old. I mean, <laughs> older than I expected. Oh my god, he's so hot. <laughs> History, philosophy, and of... <laughs> Why does he look worried? Tell us about that, Elle. Um, well, I just started to post my art to my social media. It just started to get more and more like. It's so cute, filming it. <laughs> now, much of your art explores your identity as a young trans woman. Why is that your focus? Mm. Well, trans identities are the hot topic of the moment. Some call it a culture war. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now, there have been rumours. We were told she was here to discuss the Should we go in? And we should we stop it? That teachers must inform parents about students changing their pronouns. Oh my days. This is just about her sexuality now. Or her gender. She wants to discuss art. Hey, baby. What is that? Come on. I mean, of course they... Of, that actually makes so much sense for them to be wanting her on the radio to talk about that specifically 
not just that she is popular because of her art, just because she's also trans. Yes, young man in the denim jacket. Book recommendations about queerness in ancient Greece. Oh. Now that is a wonderful question. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, nothing. Um, nothing. Yes. The Mesopotamian joke was... <laughs> Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, oh, God. Nick? <laughs> yeah, he's really hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't... Personally, I don't see it, but okay. Can I take this off? Oh, we should stop. No, no, oh, no. Wait. Go open, please, Charlie. Oh. <laughs> She's like, that's the wrong time. Is there no... He gotta get a lock, lock the door, get a key. But feel confident. That's just a challenge you're gonna have to face. Not just with Nick, but with every aspect of your life. <laughs> okay, it's gonna happen. Okay, well that was, that was my least favorite episode, I can't lie. Episode 6, but yeah, I don't have much to say, I'm, I'm not gonna do it, so. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let's go to episode 7. This lighting is making me look like I'm in a horror movie. Kinda like it though. Hey, get it. Get it. Nick? Oh. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> He's fantasizing together. Well, I can drive you to ballet if you want. Oh. I'm not doing anything most Saturdays anyway. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to. No, I, I want to. It's so nice. I haven't really got much going on, to be honest. <laughs> That's because you've been focused on helping Charlie. True. I've been focused on Darcy and all their stuff with their mum. You need to remember to look after yourself, too. Look at him. It's always the person that's going through the same thing knows how knows what advice to give you. Maybe you should try it. Not on a cucumber sometime. Gay. <laughs> that was wild from Nick. Wow. We are now going to look at some images of STIs. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Oh. <laughs> they can't have the right time. Oh, Henry! Every time he comes up on the screen, I'll, I'm gonna do this. Campaigning starts in the autumn. I think you should apply. I think you could do a lot of good for the kids at this school. No. Oh. Charlie, younger students who would find it inspiring to see you as head boy. I'll think about it. <laughs> Well, because they understand them, you know. I love that. Oh. Should we uh, go for lunch? Oh! That was him as a little kid. He's like, I wish I had such a role model or something in my school. Oh, That's heartbreaking. It's okay to admit that Charlie being ill was tough for you. Yeah. You have to be the strong one all the time. Why do you have to be so smart? <laughs> do you have any advice about that kind of stuff? Oh, Nick, <laughs> I'm not really the person to ask about sex between guys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ask Google, bro, I think. Is it cooking? Me and Nick were wondering if I could stay around his one night. You're only 16 and you've been very ill. Oh, Nick, seriously. If I want to see my boyfriend, then I will. You can't stop me. Oh. Charlie, I... Well, you are a child, though, no? He's a teenager, but he's still underage. He's still a minor. But I guess she can't stop him. He should understand that Nick is just, like, the best for Charlie. He would be so safe with Nick. I made you one. A video. She lays her head on me. He did film her a lot. Most beautiful thing. 
That's how I see you. That's so nice. That's so nice. Do people like this exist in real life? Because this show is just setting the bar so high. Rugby. He doesn't know what he wants. He can't even think about what he wants for his future because he's just worried about Charlie all the time. That is just so, such a big sacrifice. I, th I think I'm more fragile than you are. You give me so much confidence, but when you're not around, I am. Um... Oh, that's true. That's very true. I can't talk to anyone else like I talk to you. When I realized I was bi, I feel like I woke up. I was repressing so much myself before then. Basically, I'm just freaking out. I relate to him. That was such a cute opening up moment for him. I think we're both a bit of a mess. Hmm. It's happening. It's happening. This is literally the only thing I've been able to think about. Oh my days. I'm not gonna watch this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was cute. They didn't show us much. That's good. I don't want them to show us. <laughs> that was cute. I like it. I like it. Bro, I'm just tired and I'm just I just keep watching these episodes, but I wanna finish it. But also there isn't much to say, it's just wholesome. But also chill at the same time, I think last seasons were more um, impactful if that makes sense this one is just chill and sad and a bit slow which is fine like i get it i love the vibe it's realistic as well but it, it's not how can i explain it it's different it, it's it's not hitting as hard as the last seasons emotionally at least you know but I still, I still love it a lot, okay? And there are emotions that I'm valuing here, but it, you know, it's just not hitting me yet. Let's see, maybe the last episode will do. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Maybe because I'm in a whole different phase in my life. Maybe that's reflecting on how I absorb this show, maybe. Let me shut up and go to the final episode, episode eight. The next day. This is not what I expected to happen today. Can't believe we waited so long. Why are Nick, we... why are we like this? Why are we like this? <laughs> Still loads of things we could do. You've been researching, haven't you? Is he talking sexually? That's wild, Nick. Oh. Oh. These are really far away, but my top choices are local. Wow, this is like. The way they're doing it is just more mature now. It just looks more mature. <laughs> apart. Oh no. Together than apart. The last two episodes. Oh. Is this the last season? Why did they do. Why are they doing this like the first. Literally the first scene in episode one and season one? Happened, didn't oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you guys thinking of studying? Ah, law or politics? Here's one of our accommodation blocks. You want to take a look inside? If y'all see my college, you would be like, "How did I survive?" Because it's just a haunted building. <laughs> be nice to live at home. Mm. What about when Charlie goes to uni the next year? Oh. Yeah. If he leaves, then you'll still be apart. <laughs> No, <laughs> oh, he's just thinking about Charlie. Girls and boys can just be friends. Uh, yeah, it's weird how I used to like you. <laughs> oh, weird. No, ah, uh, um. <laughs> I'm not sure I did like you. Oh. Like that. I think I kind of felt pressure to have a boyfriend. No. Oh. That's very vulnerable. I get it. Who even am I? He's been there. You're my friend. Nick. Stop doing nice stuff, Nick. I can't just keep falling in love again and again. <laughs> Tao mentioned oh. you two have been keeping each other entertained. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Nicholas, tell us everything. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh no. What is happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> With all the girls behind him. He'll be thanking us when you entirely get Ow! <laughs> Al, you're the best. Well, I think he's loving it. <laughs> he's loving it? Oh, yes. Would you be looking to carry yeah. on with rugby at uni? My partner's actually on one of the teams. Josh! Oh. oh my god, this is like history repeating itself. E even though I love Nick, I need other people. Yeah. My sister, my friends. Yeah. I wish everyone realized that it's to train for hours. <laughs> that is a lot. We're gonna have to do it like once a week or something. This is a serious thing right now because they're actually he's actually going to college and yeah, they're not gonna spend all the time together, so how are we gonna maintain that? It's gonna be like a long distance thing. Look if I move away it will hurt Charlie. Oh, Nick. You're a bit of a people pleaser. Oh. <laughs> he is a people pleaser. I don't know who I am without him. Mm. Maybe it's time to find out. That's true. Oh, Nick. Come on. Come on. That's a big step. Well, I uh, may have posed the question about us being boyfriend and girlfriend. Words we made up to label common experiences and relationships, they should matter. True. <laughs> he came to the right group of people to discuss this. They've been through all kind of situations, <laughs> all kind of problems, everything you want. We're not a couple. He really likes you. Aww. Whether you want to be Michael's girlfriend or not, it doesn't matter. You have so much love to give. You don't have to give it all to me. Yeah, that's what I said. I'd do it all again. No. I'm it's okay now, Tori. Yeah, it's time. It's time, Tori. <laughs> Come on. You got this, Tori. <laughs> that's so cute to see her go through that. Aww. No. This is so bad. What's our ETA? No. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> Come on, enjoy it. Stop. You're trying to make this move iconic. It's not gonna be iconic. Guys, hurry up! <laughs> Let's go! Hey. Let's go. He made it. The last second. Oh. <laughs> like a proud mom. You look so good. <laughs> he didn't cover himself up more, you know. <laughs> Her scream. Like a horror queen scream. Take mine off. Oh. <laughs> please. He keeps saying please. He's like, please do it. <laughs> Let's go. Body confidence. <laughs> Bro, this got me daydreaming for a second. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, you guys. Well, that was depressing. <laughs> well, no, it's very happy, it's very wholesome, but it is a little bit depressing, okay? That was season three of Heartstopper and I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed every episode, every moment, every heartwarming moment, every kindness, every open conversations, every conflict we had to overcome, every problem mentally, physically, everything. This season included includes everything, especially every issue specifically to be exact included a lot of issues body issues mental issues sexuality issues everything you want every issue you want so and i like that we explored them well we communicated well well at least at some parts and then 
we solved the issues or we're on the way of solving issues <laughs> so yeah i did really like this whole concept of the season it feels more mature and just more realistic and i relate to a lot of the scenes from the show i it didn't make me cry a lot like the last two seasons but still it did uh it did has it did has it did have it did have a lot of good heartwarming moments and especially henry the pug i will not forget him at all okay so yeah that's it you guys i got nothing else to say i love them and i hate them at the same time and hopefully hopefully <laughs> let me shut up i was gonna say something cringy i think you know what i'll say it hopefully i would experience some of the wholesome experiences these characters have okay okay that's all i wanted to say anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction I love y'all so much. Take care of one another, okay? And I'll see y'all on the next video. I love y'all. Take care.